Hey guys, Sam Shares here. I'm back with another video today, and I'm very excited to talk about the iPhone 6 and the newly announced iPhone 6 Plus. So to start off, they are two different sizes. The 6 is 4.7 as anticipated, and the 6 Plus is 5.5 inches. And they come with the same beautiful colors, the silver, gold, and the space gray. And another exciting thing that Apple did this time is they got rid of the 32 gigabyte uh, capacity. I was hoping they would drop to 16, but it seems like more people uh, or the first timers are always just interested in the lowest capacity as it's more affordable for them. So they kept the 16 gigabytes, but now for an extra hundred dollars, rather than getting double the storage, you're able to get four times the storage while only costing the same price as a 32 gigabyte. So these prices that you see here on the screen, these are for in-contract two-year prices. Uh, based on previous price history, I can tell you that the 16 gigabyte will start at 649, 749 for the the um, 64 gigabytes, and it will be 849 for the 128 gigabyte iPhone 6. Now the iPhone 6 Plus, looking at the contract price, we can only predict 749 for the 16 gigabytes, 849 for the 64 gigabytes, and 949 for the 120 gigabytes. And I think that's still a great price for what for the storage capacity that you're getting um, this is the same price that the iPad Air and iPad Mini I believe no sorry just the iPad Air 128 gigabyte was selling for so going forward they might even drop the 32 gigabytes or actually 16 gigabytes in the iPad Air but that's another video and another conversation we'll have with you later for now here are the dimensions of the iPhone 6 on the left and the iPhone 6 Plus on the right so as you can see the screen sizes are 4.7 and 5.5 and Apple is calling this now the retina HD display 1334 by 750 in the 4.7 1920 by 1080p that's full 1080p HD resolution finally has come to an iPhone and honestly I've heard it so many times from people with other make and models saying oh the iPhone doesn't even have a 1080p display yet well now it does and Apple has also introduced a new A8 processor, which was all which was um, previously available. Well, I mean the iPhone 5s one was called A7. So this is a significant upgrade to the um, iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. So once again, the iPhone 6 and the 6 Plus do share everything internally as the same. The difference between them is the body size, screen size, um, the battery life is significantly higher in the iPhone 6 plus and also there is a new there's a little bit of uh, or sorry the optional camera uh, optical image stabilization which is only available in the iPhone 6 plus and uh, I think that's more than enough reason for me as I take a lot of pictures that I'm gonna go with the iPhone 6 plus however I will get both of them and I will do a review and I will talk about the pros and cons and how they feel uh, in my hand and on my day-to-day -day use and see which one I really want to decide after that onto which one I'm gonna keep for the long run so I, overall as you can see that is when it comes to the eyesight camera Apple has kept the 8 megapixel eyesight camera however they have made some significant improvements in the picture quality by adding new filters um, optimizing the lens and things like that um, Apple has also added 60 frames per second HD 1080p video recording. They have also increased slow mo uh, video recording to 240. So you can record at 120 or 240. And also, I believe it's available on 5 as well, S as well, but there is time lapse video recording. Or I might be wrong, and it might be only iPhone 6 and 6 Plus special. There is 3x zoom. Everything else pretty much standard what comes with the previous iPhones or at least the 5S. Um, they have also increased the uh, size of the um, FaceTime camera. And now it has a 2.2 aperture, uh, 720p still. Uh, they, have they said they improved the backlight illuminating sensor and also added HDR for the front facing camera as well. Uh, improved face detection, so now it's able to detect faces a lot better on the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus burst mode which is new to the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus has been added to the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus and was not available in the iPhone 5s 
on the front facing camera that is. Uh, still we get the finger pr uh, fingerprint identity sensor, the touch ID as they call it. Um, Apple has also introduced Apple Pay. Um, currently it's only going to be available in the US starting October. However, they said they will be are working on it or will be working on it to bring it into more countries. I know for Canadian consumers this might be something that a lot of you would want but it will be difficult right now to bring it in I think because of the chip and pin as we have the chip and pin in Canada uh, versus the US and few other countries that don't or many other countries sorry that don't currently have the chip and pin. So once again these prices uh, sorry these carriers just list AT&T, Sprint, T-Mobile, Verizon. Uh, I will talk more in depth about the models and which one is recommended for you depending on where you live and which model you want to go with that gives you the biggest bang for your buck. But these are just standard it just says you know the, the carriers the main carriers in the country so if you're looking at the apple.ca website or .au Australia, UK, whichever one you're looking at, you can see the carriers for your country that are the official carriers of the iPhone. So in, this year, Apple has decided to carry a um, total of three different models. They made it very clear here. Now, this one right here, the GSM, this is going to be your AT&T, um, T-Mobile, Rogers, Fido, Telus, Bell, Kudo, Virgin Mobile Canada, MTS, SaskTel, and I believe Videotron, they carry the um, iPhone as well. So they will have this model as well, the A149 GSM for the iPhone 6 and the A1522 GSM for the iPhone 6 Plus. So this will be the model that will be available on AT&T, T-Mobile, and also the Canadian main carriers that carry the iPhone. Um, now, if you're buying this iPhone from MVNOs, which are the virtual networks in the U.S., um, the model will be... For majority, the model will be this one right here. And this is the model, the A149 CDMA and A1522, which is the 6 Plus CDMA. These are your Verizon iPhone 5, uh, sorry, iPhone 6 and 6 Plus models. As you can see, there's not much difference between these two. The only difference is that these ones have the CDMA. Okay, the, the CDMA just has a CDMA enabled. However, the LTE bands are the exact same as the one on the GSM model. And also the UM, UMTS, uh, TS, HSPA Plus, and DC, these are all the exact same. Meaning the GSM model and the Verizon model will support T-Mobile's 1700 HSPA Plus network and also support AT&T and all other GSM MVNOs with full 3G, 4G LTE service in the United States and Canada. So if you're buying it at full price, uh, I would recommend the Verizon one because it will come factory unlocked. Um, I have a little presentation made for you guys that I'm going to show you and just answer a few top questions that I've been asked already. Now this model right here is the A1586 which is the iPhone 6 and the A1524 which is the iPhone 6 Plus. These ones are going to be sold by Sprint, U.S. Cellular, and majority, or actually all the networks, um, not all, sorry, I would say majority of the networks worldwide will carry this model or the A1549 model. Uh, this model will be exclusive to Verizon only, pretty much. And that is all about it. And also, Apple has added the... Um, 802.11 AC Wi-Fi, so the Wi-Fi is a lot faster now, I believe up to 400 something megabits per second, uh, given you have that actual bandwidth available from your uh, ISP, and the router that you're using is capable of providing such speeds, then you can take advantage of that. The iPhone continues to carry on with the Bluetooth 4.0 technology, which is the low energy, and with the addition of NFC. So as you can see right here, Apple has added NFC, and that is what they're using for Apple Pay, where you just do a tap and make the payment or even like if you're trying to configure something or pair different devices with the iPhone now you'll be able to do so by just tapping the devices. Uh, video calling, uh, everything else remains the same. Audio, TV, um, so here's the thing, the only difference between the uh, iPhone is now between the past and now is that they've changed the power button from right here top right corner 
to the um, right side of the phone. So now you can just turn it on like that. And everything else remains the same. Oh, and they also added barometer, barometer, depending on where you located, you'll be calling it different names. So barometer, they added that to the iPhone uh, 6 and the 6 Plus and iOS 8, it'll be running once it is released. Still using the same lightning connector. I know there's a lot of rumors, people saying, oh, you know, there's going to be a change lightning connector. Well, that's not true. Still the same. And also the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus will look like this in a box, I guess. Same ear pods with mic and remote. And I believe that is about it when it comes to the iPhone. Okay, so I just quickly wanted to break down or at least give it a little bit of understanding about the LTE, um, which phone's going to work on which. As you can see, the iPhone 6 A1549 GSM CDMA, this supports the same um, group of networks. With the with with the only difference being the CDMA one, um, this one will be supporting Verizon, while the GSM ones will be covering all the other networks right here, as mentioned. Uh, one thing I do notice here on this page is that Apple has not mentioned a lot of the countries. Um, I'm not sure exactly why, but I'm pretty sure these will be the, the, the models that will be carried out worldwide for all the other um, uh, carriers around the globe because this iPhone, to be exact, contains the TD LTE bands, while these are called the FDD LTE bands. Uh, the, this iPhone model, the one that's going to be sold by Sprint and US seller and C Spire in the United States, is pretty much the same as the other one with the addition of the TD LTE bands that are needed for other networks around the globe. So that's going to be the difference between the iPhone models when it comes to LTE sport. So in Canada, you whatever model you buy, it will work on every network if you are able to get unlo unlocked given that you buy it from the carrier or if you just go buy the factory lock from the Apple store, you will be able to use it on any network in Canada. You do not need to worry about a CDMA or not having the right bands. It's going to be one model which is going to be the A1549 in Canada and it will work on all carriers. Now in the United States, you just got to keep in mind that if you're with Verizon, then you want to get the CDMA, which is going to be the A1549, so you can just go to the Apple Store if you're paying a full price, you just ask them for the CDMA version or just ask them for, I want it for Verizon and then it'll work on all the U networks in the US fully, uh, it'll be factory unlocked. And uh, same thing for this iPhone 6 Plus. So I put together a little bit, a little chart right here for you guys. Um, I don't know if I do full screen if it's going to work the same way. But um, so as you can see right here, we have the iPhone 6 A1549 GSM and the A1522 GSM, which is a plus, and the 6. You can see here clearly. Um, the AT&T one, yes, it'll work on AT&T, it'll work on Verizon, well, I mean, you'll get LTE, but you won't get CDMA voice, though, um, until at least Verizon launches voice over LTE, this, this particular iPhone will only work on Verizon LTE, I should have actually included that in the box, um, it will work on T-Mobile, it will not work on Sprint, uh, because again, they also don't have voice over LTE yet, so it requires CDMA access and Sprint, like many other networks, um, will not allow iPhones that are not sold specifically by them on their network. Will it work on uh, Rogers or all the big three in Canada? Yes. Will it work on Win Mobile, City Videotron, MTS, Sastel? Yes. US cellular model, do not buy it. They will not unlock it. It's very difficult. And also... Um, Well, they won't unlock it for U.S. use. They won't unlock it for international use unless you're with them. And so, therefore, just don't buy it. The CDMA model, now, if you buy it, yes, it'll work with all the networks except Sprint and U.S. Cellular. So, it'll work with every other network. This is why I'm pushing that this is the best model to buy. Um, if you watch my other video, I did a video on the iPhone 5S. I bought the Verizon A1533 
which is the Verizon CDMA, and I've been using it on AT&T, T-Mobile, Rogers, Win Mobile in Canada. I've used it on all the networks, and I've also used it in a couple of international co uh, countries and had no issues with it. The iPhone is factory unlocked and works on every network uh, that is supported by the hardware that's within it. So the same thing goes for the iPhone 6 and the 6 Plus. If, you want, if you're paying full price, you might as well get the one that gives you the most flexibility, and that's going to be the CDMA, a.k.a. the Verizon models of the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus. Now the Sprint models, this is going to be um, sold by Sprint, the A1586 and the A1524. Uh, they can be sold by Sprint and US seller, and they they won't unlock it. Although the phone will work, they it just it, w it will not be working because they won't unlock it for domestic or international use, unless you fulfill their very very strict requirements. So therefore, just don't waste your money on it. Uh, that's about it for when it comes to the model breakdown. Uh, if you have any questions, you can just shoot me a message on my um, comment section below, and I'll take care of you and uh, give you the best answer I can. Now, here's a simple question that I've been asked. Uh, the person said, I'm in USA, will be using my iPhone 6 or 6 Plus here in the United States. Buying full price, which model should I buy? Well, once again, if you can buy the iPhone 6 A1549 CDMA, I'll put that in brackets, Verizon, then go for that because it will come factory unlocked thanks to Verizon's deal with FCC for the 700 megahertz LTE uh, network that they deployed. So it will allow you to use your net iPhone on Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile with full 4, 3G, 4G, and LTE, and also T-Mobile Wi-Fi calling will also be supported. Now, T-Mobile Wi-Fi calling will be supported on all models. So regardless, you go with the CDMA or the GSM model, it will still work. Next question is, uh, I'm sending my iPhone to a family or friend overseas. Which model should I buy? Well, the answer still remains the same. You can still buy the GSM or the Verizon model, and it'll still work over there and over here because, again, this is going to be the factory unlocked, okay? Make sure that when you're buying it at full price that you do ask that I want the factory unlocked model because a lot of times you will walk out with, like, an AT&T or a T-Mobile, and it might even turn out to be, I mean, last year it happened with the iPhone 5S where the iPhone turned out to be locked to T-Mobile and people have to wait 30, 60, 90 days uh, to get the unlock completed. So because you don't want to waste any time of yours and you don't want to waste your family or friends time overseas, the best thing you want to do is just make sure that you ask for a factory unlocked iPhone 6 or 6 Plus or the Verizon one and they will, be, they will come factory unlocked. So do not buy the T-Mobile at launch at least. Do not buy the T-Mobile uh, model. Because when you ask for the T-Mobile model at launch, uh, due to limited inventory, like last year, the model will come locked to T-Mobile. So meaning you'll have to request T-Mobile to unlock the iPhone. And which, again, it's just going to turn into a waste of time. So if the T-Mobile one is not available at launch, or sorry, if the factory unlocked, I repeat, if the factory unlocked iPhone 6 or 6 Plus is not available at launch, then ask for the Verizon. And last question, I'm Canadian buying my new iPhone 6 or 6 Plus in, Ca in USA. Which model should I buy? So again, once again, the answer remains the same. You can buy the GSM, which is a factory unlocked, or the Verizon, which is a CDMA. It will be factory unlocked as well, and you can use it on Rogers, Telus, Bell, Kudo, uh, Wind, any network in Canada. There will be no issues with that. Again, I have proof of concept. My other video that's in the Verizon iPhone 5S I did in the other video that I have on my channel. You can check it out. I've used that phone and I've been using it on Wind Mobile actually for a couple of months now and it's been working great. And if you still have any other questions, just shoot me a comment or send me a private message and I uh, will do my best to reply back in, in a reasonable time frame. So again, guys, I'm just as excited as you are for the iPhone 6, 6 Plus. Um, I'm going to try both of them out to see which one suits my needs and then carry on with that one for the next year. So I hope you guys like your new iPhone that's going to be coming out in about two weeks. And let me know how, what you think about the new iPhone 6 uh, keynote if you watched it or the features that are going to be in it. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you next time.